display panel. There's a uh, screw right down here. And there's also a screw right here. Those two screws secure the electronics module. Electronics module sits underneath here and the power supply is also incorporated in that component. screws removed, press firmly right there, and then reach in here, and grab the electronics module, slide it towards you. That's where all your connections are for the motors and sensors. Okay, next, uh, there's one screw here you want to remove, and with your pliers, Remove those two screws right there. This is a trailing cable. Pull that out of the way. This is the encoder strip. Release the tension off this encoder strip. Pull that out of the way. This is the motor, carriage motor. Pull that off. As you can see, there's a spring that holds that motor in place. It just popped out, and this is the uh, end cap for the uh, encoder strip. Here's your motor and connector, carriage motor. That slides out. There's a socket there with a plastic socket. That tends to get brittle and breaks also, so you need to be careful with that if you're going to reuse this printer. Um, when you replace the belt, this one shows some wear. Um, belt residue gets built up in that grooves of this motor head, and that should be grounded out with a, a flathead screwdriver if you're going to replace the belt. That's the carriage motor. This is the cutter that slides off. Cutter. This is the service station. There's one screw holding it there. 